Welcome to DIY for Homeowners. We're mother-daughter projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we'd like to thank the Home Depot for sponsoring this post and for providing these great new Milwaukee outdoor tools. These new tools have one power head and all these tool attachments work with that power head, which is a great system, but we wanted to wait to get these nice and organized. Come along as we show you how we did it. All we need for this project is a two x four, a two x six, and some one inch PVC pipe. We're starting by measuring the space between our two x four wall marking and cutting our bore to length on the miter saw. Here you can see me using the PVC ratchet and it worked really well for this project. We typically cut PVC on a miter saw just cause it's easy to do, but when we get to smaller pieces of PVC, it feels too dangerous to use a miter saw. So this tool really came in handy and you can see me using a lot in this project. Each tool attachment has a little bump that will hold it on top of the PVC. In order to get the bump through the PVC, we have to cut a notch out and we're using the Dremel Multimax to do that. We cut it out on both sides and remove that section. We smooth it out with a sanding disc on our rotary tool. Then we cut the pipe down to the thickness of the 2x4. You'll notice the pipe gets a little squash because of the notch we took out. So for our next cut, we fitted a smaller piece of pipe inside the larger piece in order to hold it rigid while we cut the pipe to length. We used two different hole saws in this project and if I was to recommend anything to you, it's a good quality hole saw. We've used cheap ones in the past and boy, those were a nightmare to use. They'll Sometimes the, the hole saw will come off the drill. It's just, it's no fun. So get good quality hole saws. And here you can see this Milwaukee one that we're using actually locks in, the drill bit locks into the hole saw so it can't come undone. It really works well. We also have a Diablo set that we really love, so good quality hole saws will make nice clean cuts. Here you can see Steph is cutting a notch, and that's where the handle is going to sit. She actually used a jigsaw to cut out the little notch, but you could use a handsaw to do that. The 2x6 got a full notch cut out, and here you can see the power head fits perfect. Next, we tested the location of the 2x4s and added the PVC into the hole. What we're determining here is where we need to glue the PVC pipe in place. We need the tool to feed through the notch and to be able to be turned so it can sit on top of the PVC and for the tool to lay flat on the wall. We're using original Gorilla glue, which expands three times in order to make a nice secure hold. We also put the smaller piece of pipe inside so the PVC pipe didn't move during the cure time. We measured and put the 2x4s into place. We tested out the fit and success. We continued the process with the rest of the 2x4s. Here you can see we're using a framing nailer to attach those boards to the studs, but you can also use screws or hammer and nails. You'll notice we also put one 2x4 as a shelf to hold supplies. What we learned, we found our wall back here was a perfect place for this storage system. So if you have an unfinished garage or unfinished shed that has these exposed two by fours, it's a perfect place to put a system like this. If you don't have an exposed wall like this, that's not a problem. We actually made a system similar to this for the Ryobi Outdoor Tools at my house, and we'll put a link to that below so you can check that one out too. Now this is a really inexpensive option for a storage system like this. All you need is two by four and a couple of pieces of PVC. If you wanna see all these tools in action, you can actually check that out on Workshop Wednesday. We'll put a link to that below. And if you like our projects and want to see more from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and sign up for our newsletter. There'll be a link below. You'll get an email once a week with all our latest projects. Here we... <laughs> wow. You see how good I am with professional there. Yeah. I was like, there's no way she could be able to do it if I do anything like she did. Just a plastered smile would be all I need. <laughs> wow! Yeah, don't do that.